Take 88, I'm not kidding you, like, Take 88. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here, and today I am doing a video that has been highly requested by you guys. Um, it's all about my tattoos. I have a total of six tattoos, which I've gotten over the course of, I got like five of them over the course of like a month and a half, and I got the other one like six months prior to that. I also wanna ask you guys, what are your thoughts on this new camera setup? I got a brand new camera if you did not know. Um, I'll give you like a little preview of what exactly this looks like. So this is my current setup. As you can see, I'm using the Canon M5, which is like a brand new uh, camera that they came out with. It's like a vlog camera, but it also is, it has a detachable lens. So it kind of is like a, a mixture between like a DSLR and a vlog. And I got a Manfrotto tripod for it and this little microphone. So I'm all set. So I'm hoping that the video quality is great and the also audio quality is amazing. And the reason that I switched over to this camera is because my main DSLR camera, which you guys know I use a super expensive big one, is such a challenge for me to film on. And it kind of refrains me sometimes from actually uploading videos on this channel because I have to have someone always with me filming and that is not always accessible. But let's just roll on into the actual tattoos that I have. And I do have like a busted spray tan right now. I don't know what happened. Like my skin rejected it, I think. And it's just like peeling and like crusting off. So I'm just gonna desaturate the video the most so you can't even tell. Editing goals. So I'm gonna do close-ups of this, so I'm not gonna come in super close to the camera, but the first tattoo that I got was about maybe eight months ago, and I got it right here on my arm. It's this little um, rose right here, and I just love this tattoo so much. I actually picked it off of a sheet at an event in Paris. Like, how iconic is that? I got this tattoo in Paris, and the guy that did this one, his Instagram name is The Craner. I'll make sure to leave everyone's Instagram names below that have done tattoos. I've had three different artists do them, but I do have one main one that um, I would highly suggest for you guys to check out. It's like a little line work rose. Um, I saw the girl in front of me in line at the event get it, and she got it on her foot, and I loved it. So I was like, I want it too. So I got it on my arm, and this is the first tattoo I got, and I just love that the first one I got was in Paris. That's what this reminds me of. It turned out amazing. The guy actually said that I have a really great skin to tattoo. Like, just letting you guys know that in case you wanted to know my mom was like why did you get such a girly image and I'm like mom what the freaking heck are you talking about? She's like, you should have gotten a skeleton. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I'm gonna rate this one um, on a scale of one to 10. I would say this was, was about like a three, not painful at all. The guy knew exactly what he was doing. He's like a very professional um, tattoo artist in Paris. And yeah, I love this one so much. So then when I got back to the States, I actually wanted to get a couple more. I was obsessed. Like once you get one, you're just hooked. Like I'm already hooked. I need more right now. Like I'm dying inside. But um, the next ones that I got, I actually got two at the same time are from the tattoo artist that I would highly, highly suggest. Like, best tattoo artist ever. His Instagram name is Bodies Need Rest. He's amazing. He's done four of my tattoos now, and I'm going back to him, I think, for everything else, unless for some reason I go to someone else for something. Next, I got this little butterfly moth situation right here. Um, this tattoo is so pretty. I get so many compliments on it, but the one that gets the most compliments ever is this tiny little saying right here. It says smiling on the inside, and of course, I'll bring it up so you guys can definitely see it. Um, this tattoo, I get the most compliments because people legitly think that it's typed on my arm, and I do too. Like, he did such an incredible job on this one and I'm obsessed with it. I first saw it on as a Tumblr quote when I was super young. I think when I was in high school, I saw it on Tumblr and I was like, I love the way that that sounds, smiling on the inside. And I just resonated it with it so well, especially lately. I've kind of been dealing with like a lot of anxiety issues over the past like year and a half that I haven't really talked about. And I just feel like this kind of is like a grounding tattoo for me. I'm always happy on the inside, even if I don't portray it on the outside due to like something like stress or anxiety or something like that. I always genuinely am happy to be here and that's why I got this tattoo. And I also think it's kind of funny because a lot of people always ask me on Instagram like why do you never smile in photos and I'm like I'm always smiling on the inside though don't you worry but I always show those people and they're like oh well did you know that I'm crying on the outside and I'm like cool love this one though this one did not hurt at all it took 15 minutes it was over and done with like upset with it healed so incredibly all my tattoos actually heal really nicely so then I got my moth tattoo which is kind of like a mix between a moth and a butterfly and this is actually my biggest tattoo and it's one of my favorites I actually love all of them but I think that this one right here is my number one favorite like I just love this one so much but this butterfly and moth is so pretty he did such an incredible job I would say pain wise this one was like maybe a six out of ten not too bad at all and I just just freaking love the way that it turned out. Um, he said it healed amazingly too. I don't really know. I didn't know that it could heal bad, but he said it healed really nicely. And yeah, I just love this piece. I was always into moth tattoos after seeing like a lot of my favorite people have them. I know that Harry Styles has them. I think like Zayn has one too, but this um, Instagrammer that I followed forever, his name's Prince Palayo. He has a big moth right here. And I just always love the way that that looked and I wanted to get one too. So 
There's no particular meaning behind it other than I thought it was pretty. And this one took maybe like an hour and a half, two hours, I think, probably about two hours to finish this one, but turned out the best in the whole world, so I am not complaining about that. So then my friend came into town and I got my fourth tattoo. And this one was maybe a month ago, I think? Not even very long ago. And this was my first hand tattoo. This is what it looks like. Can you see that? It says LA. And I got this tattoo because I've lived in LA my whole life. I still live in LA and I think I plan on living in LA. I just love LA as a city in general. I know this can be like very basic, but I also got this because the lead singer of Lainey, he has this LA tattoo on his middle finger right here. And I was just so obsessed with it when I saw it. And I just, it stuck in my head. So I knew I wanted to get something like it. And I was about to get it on my middle finger, but then um, I didn't. I got it on my hand right here, which I also like, but I do want something on my middle finger too, because I think that'd be so chic and fresh. Yeah, I got the LA right here. And my dad thinks that now I'm a Dodgers fan, but I don't really like basketball. I'm just kidding guys, I know that Dodgers play baseball. I just wanted to say that for fun, because I'm funny. <laughs> the girl that did this one, I was a walk-in appointment at Generation 8 Tattoo on Melrose, uh, and her Instagram name is JMI Art, and her work is freaking fantastic. Like, I actually didn't even look at her, because I walked in and they just gave me a random artist, and she's so cool as well. And she did this tattoo, she freehanded it on actually, like just drew it on my hand, and I love the way that it looked, and then she just tattooed over it. But her work, like I would go back to her 100% because some of her pieces that she does on people are insane. So I'll definitely like leave a little screencast of her um, art as well. But yeah, I did this one. It was the shop minimum was like $80 and this one did not hurt at all. I could legitly couldn't even feel it. I don't even know why. Moving on are my fifth and sixth tattoos. And I got these at the same time as well from the guy that did my moth and my writing right here. Bodies need rest. You guys have to go to him like schedule an appointment right now. I'll leave his link below and let him know I sent you because I don't know, just do it. But uh, he did my mom tattoo, which I'm probably gonna have to stand up to show you guys. This is my mom tattoo. I am so in love with this tattoo. Like if you did not know, I am a humongous like fan of my mother. I'm obsessed with her, like my best friend ever. So that's why I got this tattoo um, just for her. And I also loved this. Like I always loved those like beefy macho daddy. I have that like sailor mom tattoo on them. It's like such like a cutesy element to their, it's, like, it's a nice juxtaposition between their like masculinity and then like this little mom tattoo. Um, but I just like this and I got a more like sort of modernized version of it and I just got the outline of it. But I just absolutely love this tattoo so much. I love the way it turned out. I love the way it looks like when I'm just standing, like it's just in such a perfect place as well. It's kind of like in the the middle of the front and the side of my arm so and there's still prime space here to put something up there as well which is something that I wanted to like keep in mind when getting this one this one didn't hurt that bad um, maybe a bit more I'd probably rate it a four as opposed to this one because he did use a thicker needle on this because I wanted it to be more bold so I think because of that um, it did hurt like a little bit more than a super fine needle like this one and this one and then the last tattoo I'm gonna share with you guys is my number 24 which is on the back of my arm I can't even see it myself and this is what it looks like. He did the best job at this ever. And the reason I got this tattoo in this font was because I saw him do one similar on somebody, but they did a full year. It was like 1996 or something like that. Looked incredible. Um, and I just loved that Gothic style, but he did it in such like a modernized outline, more like dainty way because it could be very bold and like very goth. So I love how I got it like this and the 24, is my favorite number and that is because my birthday is actually July 24th but me and my grandma which was like my mom's mom who I was li literally obsessed with like stayed the night at her house every single night when I was younger so in love with her um, her birthday was also July 24th so we shared the same birthday so I got 24 in honor of that and I just love this number I love the font I love the placement of it on the back of my arm I can't see it but like everyone else can and I'm just very very happy with this one he did this in like 10 minutes and this tattoo, I would say, is actually my most painful one. I'm not sure why, but I think maybe the back of the arm placement had to do something with that. Uh, but I just love this one immensely, and um, I would probably rate this one as like a 7 out of 10, actually. It kind of hurt. I think it might have been also because uh, it's right above the elbow. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. I got this one and the mom one at the same time. So guys, those are all my tattoos. I just wanted to share them with you. Those are all six that I have. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know which tattoo was your favorite. I'd love to know. And also let me know if you guys have any tattoo tattoos. I'd love to hear about them because I think that tattoos are just so fun and so expressive. And um, I personally love having them and I do not regret getting any of them. And I plan on getting many more in the future. I don't exactly know what yet, but we will have to see. 
I hope you all have an incredible day and if you're not already make sure to subscribe to my channel and you can also subscribe to my second channel which is all DIY and home decor based I'll leave it in the description box below it's actually growing so fast we're almost on 43,000 subscribers and I posted like 15 videos which is insane so definitely go check out that channel too and I will catch you all in the next one bye guys